Okay, the other day I went to a show, and uh, anytime I go to a show, I try to find these ignition coils, Model T ignition coils. Uh, none of these work. All these are uh, non-workers. So what I do is I open them up, go inside, and uh, take out the tar. For any of you that have ever been in the one, uh, the tar is in there. If I had one open, I'd show you, but uh, I take the uh, tar out, I take the condenser out, the capacitor, condenser, same thing, uh, the piece of glass, and uh, check the wiring. Here's one that I had open. Here's what the tar looks like. You have to really be careful going in here and taking all this out of here uh, to be careful where the secondaries these are your secondaries here. You have wire, a real fine wire that goes to these contacts out here. Uh, so you have to be careful that you don't break those off at the coil. It's all right to break them off at the contacts here because that you can fix. But if you break them off inside the coil, you might as well just throw away the coil. But anyway, I uh, open them up, take all that tar out of there. And what I do just go through them, check them all out, and then take the box, put it back together the best I can, and put a piece of bucket of gas over it. This way, um, it's easy for anybody to repair. Just take the plexiglass off. Uh, this has got a condenser, capacitor, that was replaced by somebody else at one time. Because usually the capacitors are really long, uh, this is one that I replaced. Usually the capacitors look like this. This is an original capacitor. I take these out. Generally they fail. Um, either broken off at the solder joints or whatever, but I just go ahead and replace them. Put the new uh, capacitor in there, check the wiring, clean up all the contacts. Um, and, uh, you know, clean everything up, make sure we got good contacts. Um, Re-silicone the secondaries to the box to where it doesn't move any. And uh, you end up having a uh, box that works. Uh, let's see if I can show one here. I can at least get it to buzz. And I'll try this, put this out here. We'll try this one here, see if we can get a... But yeah, um, after that, they, they work pretty good. So, so far I've got uh, uh, three out here in the garage that are complete. And I think I got three more in the house. So, uh, yeah. I think uh, maybe at the next show I'll sell a few of them, but uh, the hard work's taken care of. If you need to replace a, a capacitor, which nine times out of ten is the only thing that fails, or the lack of cleaning on the contacts, then anybody can fix this. Not at all the junk side of it. Uh, but yeah, uh, Model T ignition coal, we use these on a lot of the hit and miss engines. Uh, to me, this is, this is, you know, far easier to, uh, make up like this, uh, repairable. And then if you don't want the plexiglass showing, just flip it over and there you go. You have a Model T ignition coal that nobody knows that it's been repaired. And they work great. I've got, uh, two engines out there right now that use them. And, uh, if I ever need one, I just... So I swap them out, but uh, these, these will last a while, especially after they've been all cleaned up. Uh, sometimes I'll put new hardware in here. Uh, the original bolts that came with it, they're copper. Um, so I try to keep those, clean them up really good, wire brush, and uh, that way I get to solder new terminals back on. And they're ready to go. So that's what I've been doing lately. 
And I've got two, three, four, five, six, six more to go. Okay, just want to show everybody what I was doing here. All right, have a good day.